No, <laughs> actually, <laughs> no cap, I cap too, because my first favorite rapper was Nelly. We gonna play a game right quick that I like to call Top 5, right? Um, and Top 5 is pretty much, I'm gonna give each of y'all five artists, and y'all gonna name the artists that you would like to work with the most, what you would like to create with them, and why. Alright? Better. All right, um, I'm gonna go B first, actually, okay. since you have to answer the question first, and Austin will answer the question first. So for you, I'm gonna give you, let's see, I said five, all right, I'm gonna do Future, I'm gonna say Prince, I'm gonna say Juicy J, I'm gonna say Ari Lennox, I'm gonna say Currency, or wow. five. Out of those five, who would you wanna work with the most? What would you want to make with them and why? So just one, it's supposed to be just one, one out of them five, yo. Um, dang, it depends on the mood. Nah, like, <laughs> I ain't asked that. If they all walked in the room right now, they're like, you only work with one of us, and the rest of us are leaving. Who would you pick? Uh, I would probably go with Future. Facts. Just because, um, I, I I mean, I love making music, but I also aspire to one day, like, be able to be on the charts. I want to chart one day. Yeah. I do. I would love to see it in my musical career, and mm -hmm. I feel like, not that no one else does, or not, I don't, oh, that's coming out wrong. I just feel like I would like to challenge myself to make, like, a summer anthem with Future. Mm, it would okay. just be cool to me. Be um, hard. Because I feel like you can't just come with anything with mm -hmm. me, so... That's for me. That's dope. Ain't no wrong answer. I don't want them to say, I don't Ain't no wrong answer. answer. No answer. Alright, uh, Jasmine, let me see. Bye, artist. Uh, I'm gonna go. Ooh, I'm gonna go Megan Stallion. I'm gonna go um, D'Angelo. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go uh, Keisha Cole. Who does my girl? For real? Yeah, yeah okay. I just guess. Uh, I'll go Keisha Cole. I'll go Tyler the Creator. Kanye. 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 That was quick. Yeah. Yeah. That was quick. Yeah. That was quick. Yeah. Okay. Kanye, he's a composer. He won't have. But what would you? But what would you make with Kanye? Kanye do a lot of shit. It's not just music. With, yeah, you know that. What? Uh, what would you do? You can make some shoes. You don't know. So that's exactly I why I would because I, <laughs> I feel like it would melt into other stuff. Right. But. I definitely would want to work on music with him first. Like, that would be my main thing because I always, all his projects are versatile and he reinvents himself. And mm -hmm. I know he has, like, a whole, like, team of people under him that he kind of, like, melts into his projects and it all is cohesive. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, I'll work with him because I feel like I love artists who, like Lil Wayne, Kanye, Pharrell, mm -hmm. who kind of, when they work with other people, you can see, like, you can tell they work with them. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. they bring out the best of the artists. But they also like keep their organicness. Like everybody keeps their own, but it's still like you know that's a Kanye production. You know that's a Pharrell production. Yeah. You know Lil Wayne was on that track. Like you gotta come with it. So yeah, Kanye. That's a fact. You know, okay. Keisha Cole, my girl. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see. All right, Austin. I'm gonna go. Let me see. Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> Cassidy. Freddie Gibbs. Let me put up. I need an R&B. Summer Walker. Push the T. <laughs> Man, we're talking deep about right, we're talking about right now. Right now. Like I told her, if all five of them niggas walked in here right now, it was like you gonna be working with one of us, and the rest of us is leaving. Who would you pick? I'm gonna be honest, you. As much as I want to say Pusha T, mm. I would say Earth, Wind, and Fire, but I wouldn't do no new shit with them. There you go. Because they old. There you go. But I would. I would <laughs> ask, they you know what I'm saying? You gotta say it like you know, that. Have y'all heard, like, like, you know, heard like Jodeci and them? Like, yeah. before and now, like, yeah. they don't sound the same. Yeah, yeah. that's a fact. Because they that's old and shit. Yeah. So I would ask them for like their stems for certain songs. There you go. Songs. I wouldn't ask for it. 
can I just sample? I want the stems yeah. for Dr. Dre shit. There you go. And like you sample the stems for new records. Yeah. That's what it's I want. So Earth That's a good yeah. pick. Hey, look, yeah. I ain't mad at that. I ain't I mad at that. that. <laughs> um, so with um your journey through music, what is could y'all name one or two? I'll even give y'all the three, one, two or three albums that y'all feel like um really crafted, you know, what you like in music. And the sound that you have now, you know, what I'm saying you can name one to three albums that really, that really made that sound for you, or really put that idea. Like, damn, when you heard that shit, you was like, yeah, I know I'm gonna do music for real. Like for me, is I know the three albums off the gate is uh, first one is down, is down Lauren Hill, and Miss Education Lauren Hill. I know it's cliche, <laughs> but that shit did it for me. You know what I'm saying? I got mad sisters, so like I heard Lauren Hill on repeat for months when that shit came out. Like <laughs> I hear nothing else. Um. Fucking, I go. Damn, Master P did it for me when I was young as hell. That was like one of the first rappers I ever seen. You feel me? And I was like, damn, this nigga's like bigger than than space. You feel me? Like I ain't never seen nobody that big. And um, and Kanye, of course. Like the first time I heard College Dropout, I knew I wanted to rap for real, for real. So those are my three. But whoever wants to name like three albums that they feel like really influenced them or made them like make the decision, I'm a rap for real. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm gonna make music. You not mean, necessarily. You mean, yeah, so you're saying yeah, on just, the music, music, not yeah. on their life. Yeah, that's why I said I'm gonna make, make music. Yeah, make music. I would say the reason I don't name. Any you can name, or you or you can name artists. If you want to name artists, you can name artists. So here's the thing. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna name artists. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the three artists I will pick. First Kanye, because I feel like everybody right now is either Kanye, Lil Wayne, or Gucci Baby. Yeah. All of that shit. I'm definitely a Kanye <laughs> and a Lil Wayne Baby. I think, sure. I think the entire <laughs> yeah, hip hop industry sure. is those But three. this is my, but is my problem with that's that not my is three artists why, don't people, why do people cap about it, though? Because they're like, still I feel like I don't because, see why, because why everything still sounds different from all those people, but it's just But you can tell, though, the influence is there. It's yeah. clear. You know what I mean? Some people don't know that the influence is there. But I feel like because they're still active, they're not they're like not, they're probably not completely. listening to music. They're probably not listening to music. <laughs> I mean, because any artist that I hear now, like, well, rap artists that I hear now, like, I'm like, you can't tell me that's not Wayne or Kanye or like you know what I'm saying in there. Yeah. Not saying they sound exactly like that person, but <laughs> you could hear like you know what I'm saying yeah. if you study the shit. Like my three artists though. But go ahead. Would be, Ye, mm -hmm. Drake, and fucking um, Cuddy. Okay. Okay. Those, I'll go those Cuddy. niggas ins inspired. What you me. think about him having that dress on the other day? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I mean, bro. I just asked, bro. I just want your opinion. That's it's a it. tough. It's a tough thing to That's talk it. about. Did you see the picture? It's oh, a God. tough thing to talk did about. Did you watch the performance? I didn't. Just oh. saw a picture. Cause I knew what he was trying to do, and I respect it. Um, so okay, so explain but, to me what I he was trying to I, do. Because all so, I so, all so, I read was that it was like something for Kurt Cobain, but was. I didn't read it. It was. It was. But the thing is, the the people, the reason that people were upset is because that. Kurt Cobain's dress that he wore was looked completely different and was worn completely different from the way Cuddy wore it. Mm -hmm. Cuddy wore it in a different way. Yeah. So, um, I think that's that's what people was like chatting they up didn't really and get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, me personally, it's like I don't give a fuck what motherfuckers do. Like that's, that's like to me, that's my hero. He's still my hero. Yeah. But it's like you know what I'm saying. Like I don't, I don't really. When it comes to like preferences and things like that, other than the music, I try not to like comment on shit like that because it's like that shit don't really matter. It's they what they want to fucking do. That's you know a fact. I, mean? I don't know, but yeah, like those three niggas definitely influenced like how I attacked music, mm -hmm. like the, like how I want to attack <clears throat> my music in the music industry. Like there's a lot of rock influences I got, but as far as like initially wanting like making me deciding how I wanted to rap, mm -hmm. like deciding. Like what type of music I wanted to put out, it was those three artists those I feel like mostly. Yeah. Um, I I got your cliche, but for <laughs> me it is yay, it is on um, Little Wayne, and it actually you just reminded me like low key when I first started writing I was like what would Drake say, you yeah, know what I mean yeah. like but yeah. aside from that I am a big um big Crip fan yeah. as well. 
Um, and it's a lot of other people that I like to venture off into. But like you said, when you start talking about the core of who you envision when you started to pick your pen up, for me, those were big influences. So. Well, we've been talking for about an hour. Damn. So I know that shit went my fast as fuck. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. It's been another episode of The Green Room. Um, real quick, y'all go around, um, get y'all <laughs> handles, IG, so everybody can follow y'all. Everybody can tap in with y'all and what y'all got going on. Jasmine, if you would like okay. first. I'm Jasmine Milan. Um, I'm on Instagram as Trailer Trash, Trailer with an O. On every other social media, I'm Jasmine Milan. You can find me and my music as Jasmine Milan. I'm B Sims. I'm on um, social media as underscore B Sims. That's B E E. Um, and my music is on all platforms. B Sims only. I am buzzed. I'm weak to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm awesome and shit. So, yeah, awesome royale. You know, Google me, baby. I'm <laughs> weak, not Google me, baby. I'm weak as It's been another episode of Green Room. I appreciate y'all being here. I appreciate y'all spending some time with me. You know what the fuck going on? All vibes, all love on me. <laughs>